How's it going guys? My name is Wilson. The 2019 NBA draft class is not projected to be one of the deepest in recent years, but there will be plenty of solid players who were drafted outside the lottery. The ACC conference dominated the draft, having 13 total players selected, including a draft record 6 lottery selections and 10 first rounders. A lot of big names were unfortunately not drafted in the 2019 draft, so here are 5 of the best prospects who didn't get a chance to get their names called in the big stage. Number 5, Taco Fall. The most famous prospect who wasn't drafted, Fall's one of the most famous players in the draft due to his large size, standing at 7 foot 6, which would make him easily the tallest NBA player if he was on the team next season. Average over 10 points, almost 8 rebounds, 2.5 block shots on an incredible 74% shooting from the field over his 4 years at UCF. Despite towering over everybody, he's an old school center with no outside game, will have to continue to improve on this jumper, has good size weighing over 300 pounds with an incredible 8 foot 2 wingspan the 23 year old still a work in progress even gave zion plenty of problems in the tournament but in today's nba when teams go small fall would likely struggle to stay on the floor and he's a poor free throw shooter hitting only 43 percent from the charity strike in college his conditioning also raises a huge concern and being one of the oldest players in this class already 23 years old fall likely won't play more than 20 minutes when he signs with a team Number 4, Jonte Porter. The reason why he was undrafted was mainly due to injuries. At 6'10", he won't play next season due to a devastating retoured ACL and having a significant injury history in both himself and his family, team simply didn't want to risk signing a guy who might never be the same player. After seeing limited action at Mizzou as a freshman, Porter averaged almost 10.7 rebounds, nearly 2 block shots in 24 and a half minutes of action. Heading into October, he was reshaping into a potential lottery pick, was ranked number 25 overall in the 2017 ESPN Top 100. After deciding to stay in college one more season, Porter's sophomore season was over before he even began, suffered a right ACL tear in a secret scrimmage before the season, the same ligament he damaged. Although his talents are overshadowed by his brother Michael, Jante's a super skilled big man who spaces the floor, can make plays off the dribble, is a very good passer combined with his 240 pound frame but will have a long journey looking to recover from injury. Number 3, Lewis King. The one year Oregon Ducks stand out averaged 13 and a half points, 5 and a half rebounds. At 6'9", the former 5 star recruit missed his first 7 collegiate games due to injury but turned it up a notch drawing conference and postseason play. King's an explosive athlete, great in transition, plays above the rim and has good body control, often finishes through contact, also shot 39% from deep, has the ability to play multiple positions but very inconsistent at times, relies too heavily on athleticism by over penetrating, is an average rebounder for his size and weighing at just over 200 pounds, King simply needs to get bigger to match up against other guys his size in the NBA and commit more on defense. Was the 11th ranked recruit on the ESPN Top 100 out of Hudson Catholic High School in Jersey, the 20 year old will have to play well in Summer League in the coming weeks. Number 2, Shamari Pons, who spent 3 seasons with St. John's as one well of the most electrifying point guards in the country and can get as hot as anybody in the nation, scoring the ball in a multitude of ways. The 6'1 Brooklyn native had 11 NBA workouts and performed well at the scouting combines, was in position to be taken in the second round, was one well of the best players in the Big East, making all conference first team selection twice, averaged 19 and a half points, over 4 rebounds, over 4 assists in 96 total games with the John as one of the best isolation players, has all the skills as a scorer who can effectively create his own shot on anybody, but with his questionable defense and being undersized at just 180 pounds, he's not a super athlete, not the fastest for his size, but has the killer instinct and hit plenty of clutch shots over his time with St. John's, draws comparisons to Nick Van Exel, very crafty, capable of making very tough shots, but not being a pass first player, relies a lot on hero ball, makes many teams downfall of Hans, and he's a lefty, who sometimes struggles to go right, will likely come off the bench as a sixth man and get buckets, and no doubt will have his moments at the next level. Earned a spot on the Rockets Summer League team, will show the world what he's made of. Number 1, Nas Reed. The most shocking of them all, the Jersey native was the number 12 prospect in the ESPN 2018 Top 100. 
has great physical size at 6'10", 250 plus. Although he did agree to a two-way contract with the Timberwolves, the big man will spend most of next season in the G League, but can spend up to 45 days with the Wolves. Average over 13 and a half points, seven rebounds at LSU, had an underwhelming freshman season. Since declaring for the draft, Reed was considered an early second rounder in most mock drafts, but took a lot of bad shots in college, has questionable motor, and struggles at times on defense, turns the ball over often. But his versatility allows his game to fit perfectly in the modern NBA, can stretch the floor and hit the outside shot at times. He was absolutely unstoppable. A great pick and pop guy at 19 years old, not afraid of attacking the basket, having monster dunks here and there, combined with his 7-3 wingspan, Reed can absolutely dribble and create for his own. It won't be surprising if he becomes an NBA starter within the next two years. Other notable undrafted players were Tyus Battle out of Syracuse, the 21-year-old junior was heavily predicted to be drafted following his sophomore season but elected to stay one more year which hurt his draft stock. The second straight year no Syracuse players were selected in the NBA draft. Rare territory for Jim Beheim. Brian Bowen who played overseas in Australia after not being eligible to compete in the NCAA after committing to Louisville in 2017 his academic eligibility was stripped away by the FBI investigation. Despite Bowen strongly maintaining his innocence, transferred to the University of South Carolina under Frank Martin, but would be forced to sit out another year since benefits were given to his family in the Louisville scandal before deciding to take his talents overseas, will look to prove himself in summer league. Justin Robinson out of Virginia Tech played four seasons, averaged 13 and a half points, five assists his senior season, has good ball handling skills and a good pass signed the multi-year deal with the Wizards. UCLA's Chris Wilt, a 6'6 sophomore forward who averaged nearly 17 and a half points, signed the two-way contract with the Knicks and Dietrich Lawson, the 6'9 power forward out of Kansas, put up nearly 20 and 10 his final season under Bill Self, but will get the opportunity to flourish with the Warriors Summer League team. Those were some of the notable undrafted players in the 2019 NBA Draft. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love all of you. See you next time.